Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x cubed is equal to 30 cubed plus 40 cubed plus 50 cubed. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So let's start. x cubed is equal to this 30 is same as 3 times 10 whole cubed plus this 40 is same as 4 times 10 whole cubed plus uh, this 50 is same as uh, 5 times uh, 10 whole cubed. Now by using this power rule a times b whole to the power n is equal to a to the power n times uh, b to the power n. This will become x cubed is equal to 3 cubed times 10 cubed plus 4 cubed times 10 cubed plus 5 cubed times 10 cubed. Next, x cubed is equal to from these three terms we can factor out 10 cubed. So, this will become 10 cubed as common factor in bracket left 3 cubed plus 4 cubed plus 5 cubed. Next, x cubed is equal to 10 cubed times this 3 cubed is 27 plus this 4 cubed is 64 plus this 5 cubed is 125 x x cubed is equal to 10 cubed times 27 plus 64 plus 125 will become 216. Now, if we factorize this 216, if we factorize this 216, this 216 is divisible by 2, 2 10 times and 2 8 times. This 108 is divisible by 2, 2 5 times, 2 4 times. Again divisible by 2, 2 2 times, 2 7 times. In this 27 is divisible by 3, 3 9 times. Again 3 3 times and 3 1 time. We have 3 times 2 here and 3 times 3 here. So, this will become x cubed is equal to 10 cubed times 2 cubed times 3 cubed. Next, x cubed is equal to 10 cubed. This will become 2 times 3 whole cubed and x cubed is equal to 10 cubed times uh, this 2 times 3 will become 6 cubed. Next, x cubed is equal to this uh, 10 cubed times uh, 6 cubed will become 10 times uh, 6 whole cubed. And x cubed is equal to 10 times 6 uh, 60 cubed. Move this 60 cubed to the left hand side, this will become x cubed minus 60 cubed is equal to 0. We have a difference of 2 cubes, so we use this algebraic identity a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a times b plus b squared. So, this x cubed minus 60 cubed will become x minus 60 times x squared plus 60 times x plus 60 squared or 3600 is equal to 0. Next, 
and from here either this expression x minus 60 is equal to 0 or this expression x squared plus 60 times x plus 3600 is equal to 0. From this equation we get a first value of x is equal to 60. This is the first solution of this equation. Now, from this quadratic equation, we can rewrite this equation as x squared plus this 60x can be written as 2 times x times 30. To complete the square, we add here 30 squared and to balance this, we subtract 900 plus this 3600 is equal to 0. Now, by using this algebraic identity a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is equal to a plus b whole squared. This x squared plus 2 times x times 30 plus 30 squared will become x plus 30 whole squared and this uh, negative 900 plus uh, 3600 will become plus uh, 2700 is equal to 0. Move this uh, 2700 to the right hand side this will become x plus uh, 30 whole squared is equal to negative 2700. Now, from here we take a square root of both sides. So, this square will be cancelled out with this square root and at left hand side we are left with x plus 30 is equal to plus minus square root of this negative 2700 can be written as 900 times negative 1 times 3. Next, x plus 30 is equal to plus minus this will become root 900 times root negative 1 times root 3. Next, x plus 30 is equal to plus minus root 900 will become 30 and this root negative 1 will become i times root 3. Move this 30 to the right hand side this will become x is equal to negative 30 plus minus 30 i times root 3. It means from here we get two values of x, x2 is equal to negative 30 plus 30i times root 3 and x3 is equal to negative 30 minus 30i times root 3. And first we found the x1 is equal to this is 60. First we found that the value of x1 is 60. So, we have three solutions of this equation 60, negative 30 plus 30i times root 3 and negative 30 minus 30i times root 3.